Lincoln Steffens was a New York reporter who investigated corruption of politicians and heavily influenced a new style of journalism called muckracking. Steffens was born on April 6, 1866, to wealthy parents Elizabeth Louisa Steffens and Joseph Steffens in Sacramento, California. Steffens spent his teenage years in a very high-end military academy where he showed early signs of rebellion. Once he graduated from the academy, he went on to attend the University of California, Berkeley, and learned the importance of philosophy in politics. In a pursuit of culture, Steffens traveled to Europe after college and married a young American girl named Lenore Winter. Once him and his wife returned to New York in 1892, Steffens' journalism career began as a police reporter at the New York Evening Post. At this job, he learned how to investigate and write about politics, culture, and economics. In 1904, Steffens published a series of articles that later became a book called The Shame of Cities. After he wrote and published The Struggle for Self-Government in 1906, With these books, he hoped to promote outrage by giving examples of corrupt governments in America. He claimed that the honest and respectable businessmen were actually villains who fueled the whole system with their greed and bribes. The shame of cities was mostly focused on the corruption of local governments, whereas the struggle for self-government centered around an investigation of state politicians. These books proved to far exceed all of the other muckracking exposes because of his literary styles and his intellectual perception of the municipal corruption. His writings declaimed his strong support of both the Soviet Union and communism, creating a significant influence on journalism and government in America. William Randolph Hearst, a newspaper tycoon, was so impressed with Stephen's works that he called him the most effective interviewer he had ever faced. Although he never joined the Communist Party, he declared that communism was what America needed to save itself from all its corruption. In 1934, he and his wife helped found the San Francisco Workers' School, which was an ideological training center for the Communist Party. It was established in order to educate adults. On August 9, 1934, Stephens died of a heart attack at the age of 70, but his strongly opinionated writing has left a significant impact on journalism today.